how have you kept your motivation for tennis up all these years? I love it, you know, so I love playing <laughs> tennis. It's that simple, but then of course you got to make it exciting with the yeah. team you surround yourself with, exactly. where you train, which tournaments you play, um, and then draw inspirations from maybe trying to break records. Um, I also see the tennis family as uh, my other extended family, besides yes. my own kids and, you know, parents and wife and everything. So um, I try to make it fun on the road because mm -hmm. the traveling can really get to you. And uh, yeah, so I love playing tennis and I will never stop as yeah. long as the body will allow me to. <laughs> and then, um, so I know you have um, some kids. Do you think any of them will take after you in tennis? Um, does it sound bad if I say I hope not? I don't want to spend another 20, 30 years on tour. It's so selfish, but I don't think the girls will. Maybe yeah. the boys, maybe one of them, who knows? But uh, I have doubts because I know how hard it is to make it, you know. So we'll see how it goes. But I'll support them with anything, and I want them to do sports because I think it's really good for them. Yes, yeah, okay. Thank okay. you so much. So what makes the US Open so different from all the other slams? Well, it's, uh, every, every slam is different, no? but here is a big energy mm -hmm. event, no? the crowd is, uh, is unbelievable, they are uh, so passionate and they always had an amazing connection with, with the crowd here, that brings me to the next step of energy here. Yes, okay. Thank you so much. Thanks a lot. So just one quick question for you today, um, what is one of your hobbies that you like to do off the court? Um, one of my hobbies that I like to do off the court, I play a lot of games, um, so it really depends on my phone or on the computer <laughs> or just PlayStation. Mm -hmm. um, that's probably one of the biggest things. What's one of your favorite games? Right now I've been playing this phone game, mm -hmm. um, but I'm not really too sure of the name. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. So going back a little bit into your past, who was one of the tennis players that inspired you when you were little? When you were little? Uh, Justine Annan, definitely, she was my idol. Why is that? Because we have the same height, and uh, yeah, I tried to copy her game because yeah. I loved it, and I loved actually her backhand, with one hand backhand, even if I have uh, two hands backhand, I loved her backhand. Okay. And a little bit more goofy question, how do you decide what you wear every single day? Well, it's not that easy because I change few times before going out. Uh, but uh, normally I'm uh, I'm using uh, sport clothes, so it's much easier. But when I go out, yeah, I, it takes about 30 or 40 minutes to oh to decide. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. So diving a little bit into your past, who was um, a tennis player that you looked up to when you were young? Uh, when I was young, I have to say that it was Marat Safin and Nikolai Davidenko because. Uh, that's the moment when I started playing tennis and they were at their top at this moment. What part of their game do you admire? Uh, when I was young, I admired Marat Safin's power and uh, I mean his jump shot, his serve, it was amazing. But uh, I have to say that now, uh, knowing the, the style I play, I, 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 I consider myself more like Davidenko and I like watching uh, his uh, highlights. And then just one more quick question, kind of random one, but what's your favorite dessert? Panna cotta, this, uh, oh. you shouldn't ask twice, yeah. Um, what is that? Uh, it's an Italian dessert, it's like, uh, I don't know how to explain it, it's made from milk with a lot of sugar inside, everything you need in, in the dessert. Sounds really good, thank yeah, you so really much. So, I know you're from Canada, so uh, what do you most love about your hometown? Oh, I love everything about it. Um, music industry is really big in Toronto. Um, the food is incredible, the people are so nice, and I just love the multiculturalism of everything. Yeah, sounds amazing. So, um, do you ever get homesick being a tennis player and all? Of course. After six weeks, I just want to be back home. You know how it is. Yeah. Home. There's nowhere like home. Mm -hmm. There honestly isn't. Okay. Thank you so much for that. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> All right, so what's it like being on tour with your brother? It's uh, fun. I mean, obviously, you know, a lot of players get always homesick. They're mm -hmm. always uh, away from family, and I have my family around the corner always. And uh, being, being with my brother here, we can kind of be the little kids that we are, always goof around and uh, enjoy time outside the court. That's very nice. Um, so kind of a random question, but what is a food that you like that maybe most people don't really? Oof. Um... <laughs> 
don't know, but I do like root beer. It's my favorite oh. uh, soft drink. And a lot of people don't. Yeah, I know a lot that. Of yeah. Don't. yeah, if they could choose true. between a Coke and a root beer, they would never choose a root mm -hmm. beer. And I, yeah. I really do love root beer. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you. All right, so just a couple quick questions for you. So, um, what makes the U.S. different? U.S. Open different from all the other slams? Um, well, I think obviously being an American playing at the U.S. Open is super special. The atmosphere is great. There's always crowd support. Um, it's always really fun. And I think you know, obviously growing up watching it on TV and being able to actually play here and then win here has been really, really cool. And I think just for an American to be able to play in the U.S. Open is probably one of the coolest experiences you can have as like a, a professional tennis player. Definitely is. And so um, I noticed your style. I love your shoes, by the way. Um, how do you decide what you wear every day? Um, I don't know. I just pick, I always pick out my outfits the night before. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I always pick out my outfits the night before, no matter what I'm doing. If I'm going to practice, I have a meeting, I have anything, I always like prepare myself the night before because I don't like to be like thinking about what I'm going to wear and what I'm going to do. So this is like a pre planned thing that always happens. Um, but yeah, I just, this is something I had new and this is, I already spilled avocado toast on it. But yeah, it's still cute. <laughs> it definitely is. Thank you so much. Thank you. So as a tennis player, I know you travel a lot. Do you ever get homesick? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I think for me, uh, usually when I'm about four weeks away, that's when yeah. it starts to hit. Um, but I'm, I'm lucky that I've got a great team around me that are like my family. Uh, so even when I'm not at home, I have family with me. Definitely. And then is there any really good desserts that you guys have in Australia that we don't have here in the USA? Oh, desserts, yeah. Uh, we've got pavlova, lamington. Uh, pavlova is like a, like a meringue uh -huh. kind of thing uh, with some like, cream and you put some berries or some fruit on it. Uh, incredible. And then uh, lamington's like a sponge cake with a bit of chocolate and coconut on it. It's pretty good. So good. That sounds really good. Okay, thank you so much. Yes.